Next item of business is roll call. We have 24 supervisors present. And next is the approval of the March 15th, 2022 journal. Supervisor Wagner. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I'll move for approval. Thank you, Supervisor Wagner. Supervisor Hoffman. I will second that. Thank you, Supervisor Hoffman. Under discussion. Seeing no discussion, please vote. Thank you. Motion is approved unanimously. Next is consideration of appointments by county administrator. To Emergency Medical Services Council, Rory Beebe of Plymouth, Health and Human Services Committee, reappointment Larry Samet of Sheboygan. Sheboygan County Recreational Facilities Management Advisory Committee, reappointments Lil Pipping from Elkhart Lake, Dale Katzma of Plymouth, and Transportation Coordinating Committee, Reappointments, Derek Mink and Gary Hustling. Supervisor Gehring. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I move to concur with the appointments. Thank you, Supervisor Gehring. Supervisor Obler. I support that motion, Mr. Chair. Thank you, Supervisor Obler. Under discussion. Seeing no discussion, please vote. Appointments are approved unanimously. Presentations? There are none. Public addresses? We have none. Letters, communications, and announcements? We have none. The county administrator's report? Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Good evening. It's nice to see everybody just a little more clearly without that plexiglass in place, right? Actually, um, George Kulo mentioned that to me earlier this week about could we possibly take down the plexiglass? I hadn't even thought about it. I asked Chairman Koch and we thought it was the right time, the right thing to do. Of course, tonight might be the first night in the history of county boards where we took the formal county board photo the last day that we're in the, uh, the, this term. And as a, a little uh, practical joke on Supervisor Kulo, I put Emmett Feldner in the back of the photo and I'm gonna put George Kulo under his name. <laughs> so I, 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 I think that'll be a very pleasant surprise to George Kulo when he sees that. So actually, not only did George suggest it might be time to take down the plexiglass, but also he mentioned that his daughter's playing soccer tonight. So if you're wondering why we're short one board member, I think his priorities are in the right place. He's watching his daughter. Uh, this evening, we're going, to re we're going to recognize five outgoing county board supervisors, supervisors that either chose not to seek re-election or were recently defeated. So it's, it's a little bit bittersweet. Of course, I think most people are feeling good about being re-elected and feeling good about the future and feeling good that COVID may be hopefully largely in the rearview mirror. Uh, there's all, always so many good things to look forward to and things to be grateful for, but it is a little bittersweet tonight. 
So we're going to do this in years of service, as we have done for a number of years. If Supervisor Mike OG could please come forward. He's been on the board for the last four years and, as you know, chose not to run for re-election. As he's coming forward, I'd like to point out that his wife and daughter, Becky OG, his wife, and his daughter, Libby OG, who you might recognize, are here to support Mike tonight. I think they're, I think they're treating Mike for dinner tonight or something like that. And Libby is currently uh, working as a CNA or going after a CNA license at Rocky Knoll. So it's nice to have her in the county family yet. Uh, and thank you for joining me, gentlemen. Uh, Supervisor Mike Goji was elected, as I mentioned, four years ago in April 2018. He also served for 16 years on the county board prior to that, from April 98 to 2014. How quickly the years go by. During the last four years, Supervisor Oji served on the Property Committee and subsequently the Planning, Resources, Agriculture, and Extension Committee. During his tenure on the Property Committee, Supervisor Oji provided support and oversight for a number of facility enhancements and capital improvements, including the addition of the courthouse secured entrance, remodeling at the Aging and Disability Resource Center, and building the U.S. Customs Facility and Terminal at the county airport. During his tenure on the PRACOM committee, Supervisor OG provided oversight and policy direction as a liaison committee member for the Planning and Conservation Department, Register of Deeds, and UW Extension. Obviously, when he came back, he hit the ground running. He knew these departments. He knew many of the people working in them. And while serving on PRACOM, Supervisor OG was involved in the planning and construction of the Kohler Center for Marsh Education Facility out at the Sheboygan County Marsh. And if you haven't had a chance to take a drive out there this uh, spring yet, please do so, because it's pretty well wrapped up and it looks beautiful. Both Supervisor OG and I served on the Marsh, uh, Friends of the Marsh Committee. Not only was he involved with this donation and collaboration with the Kohler Company and Sargento and others, but we also worked together on building the wooden observation tower at the Sheboygan County Marsh. As you know, Supervisor Keith Obler was also very involved with that. So we have that new facility going up. We have work done that Supervisor OG supported with the Oak Plank Road Trail extension. And of course, most recently, though we purchased the Amsterdam Dunes Preservation Area a number of years ago, recently the Wetland Mitigation Bank was finally approved. So please join Chairman Koch and Vice Chairman Ziegelbauer and me in recognizing Mike for four years of public service to the people of Sheboygan County. And with the 16 before that, 20 years on the county boards serving our community. Thank you, Mike. Four years as well with Supervisor Charlotte Nenig, please come forward. Supervisor Charlotte Nenig was appointed to the county board in June, 2018 and elected in April of 2020. During her tenure, Supervisor Nettig served on the Property Committee and most recently on the Human Resources and Law Committees. During, her, during our unprecedented battle with COVID-19, Supervisor Nettig provided strong and thoughtful leadership. As the member of the HR Committee, Supervisor Nettig supported our employees by establishing a telecommuting policy, allowing for more flexible work schedules expanding sick leave and modifying FMLA to allow people to care for their children and others. Supervisor Nettig and the HR committee also supported increasing wage and benefits for Rocky Knoll CNAs and other essential employees to be sure we could care for the elderly and people in need. During her tenure on the law committee, currently serving as chairperson of the law committee, Supervisor Nettig was a strong advocate for the sheriff's department. She supported pay increases for our correctional officers in order to help recruit and retain staff. She supported expanding our alternatives to incarceration units to take some pressure, pressure off the detention center. And of course, the associated capital improvements that go with such a facility. She also supported co-locating our veteran service department at the Aging and Disability Resource Center. Please join Chairman Koch, Vice Chairman Ziegelbauer and me in recognizing Charlotte for four years of dedicated public service, passionate, dedicated public service to the people of Sheboygan County. Eight years, 
Vice Chairman Robert Ziegelbauer, would you please take one step forward? This is a little bittersweet. Supervisor Robert Ziegelbauer was elected to the county board in April 2014. Supervisor Ziegelbauer served on the property committee, the law committee, the transportation committee, finance and executive committees, and it was elected vice chairman of the county board by his peers in April of 2020. During his eight year tenure on the county board, Vice Chairman Ziegelbauer supported the Pennsylvania apartments redevelopment just across the street here. The addition of the engineering building at UW Sheboygan the construction of the new transportation complex, enhancements to our emergency response system, and establishing a combined dispatch center. Vice Chairman Ziegelbauer also supported establishing a drug and alcohol treatment court and implementing the one, one half percent county sales tax in order to responsibly maintain our transportation system, provide a dedicated revenue source for improving our roads and bridges, share some of it with our municipalities, and provide direct property tax relief. Vice Chairman Ziegelbauer also supported the expansion of Highway 23 and working in collaboration with the Kohler Company and others to build the US Customs and Terminal Building at Sheboygan County Airport. Most recently, he supported the replacement of the 35-year-old asphalt plant. As the Vice Chairman of the County Board, Robert also worked very closely with the County Board Chairman, the Executive Committee, all of you, and many of us throughout Sheboygan County support our efforts to defeat COVID-19 and help keep people safe. Please join Chairman Koch and me in recognizing Vice Chairman Robert Ziegelbauer for eight years of public service to the people of Sheboygan County. Fourteen years, would Supervisor Fran Damp please come forward? Supervisor Fran Damp was first elected to the county board in April of 2008. Throughout her tenure, she has served on the Human Resources Committee and for the past two years as the HR Committee Chair. Supervisor Damp also served on the Planning, Resources, Agriculture and Extension Committee and on the Healthcare Centers Committee. During her tenure on the PRACOM committee, Supervisor Damp was a strong supporter of natural resource protection and enhancement. Supervisor Damp supported the consolidation of the planning and land and water conservation departments, the construction of the County Marsh Tower, the Sheboygan River and Harbor cleanup, dredging and restoration, a hundred million dollar project where we leverage resources with, from a dozen different agencies, public and private sector the purchase of the abandoned rail corridor and construction of the multi-use non-motorized paths, the acquisition of the Amsterdam Dunes Preservation Area and establishing a wetland mitigation bank, just to name a few. While serving on the Healthcare Centers Committee, Supervisor Dam supported and provided oversight to establish a child care center at Rocky Knoll. We worked in collaboration with growing generations to accomplish this. The continuation of Rocky Knoll's five-star quality rating and best in long-term care award from U.S. and World Report. Supervisor Damp has also been actively engaged in tackling the workforce challenges at Rocky Knoll, Corrections, and throughout Sheboygan County, and supported offering higher wages in order to recruit and retain staff. As the chairperson of the HR committee, Supervisor Damp was closely involved with developing new employee policies in response to, in response to the COVID-19 pandemic. I can't tell you how quickly we had to pivot and pull together as an organization to prepare for that. And Supervisor Damp was a key leader. She also had to provide key support and oversight with pay for performance, compensation studies, equity adjustments, ARPA premium pay and the establishment of wellness initiatives, including membership to the YMCA and Planet Fitness. If you know Supervisor Fran Damp, you know that she is an outstanding athlete and I wouldn't take her on in tennis. <laughs> Supervisor Damp has always been one who didn't hesitate to ask questions, nor did she hesitate to lead. Please join Chairman Koch, Vice Chairman Ziegelbauer, and me in recognizing Fran Damp for 
14 years of dedicated public service to the people of Sheboygan County. And 20 years with Supervisor Brian Hoffman come forward. And as Brian comes forward, I'd like to recognize and acknowledge his wife, Mary, who's in the back of the room and I know has been a key supporter of Brian for two decades on the county board. So thank you, Mary. Supervisor Brian Hoffman was elected to the county board in April 2002. Supervisor Hoffman first served on the law committee from 2002 to 2012 and in 2010 served as the law committee chair. Supervisor Hoffman also served on the Health and Human Services Committee from 2006 to 2008, and again from 2012 to present. He has served as the Health and Human Services Committee chairman since 2018. Supervisor Hoffman also previously served on the Healthcare Center Committee and the Human Resources Committee. When you've been on the county board for 20 years, just that paragraph alone takes some work to put together. He has participated and led and involved, been involved in a, a number of committees. Most recently, during his tenure on the Health and Human Services Committee, Supervisor Hoffman provided key support and policy oversight associated with the COVID-19 pandemic and our public health division's key leadership role with emergency plans and preparations, sharing accurate and timely information, and supporting the hospital, schools, and business community. During his tenure, Supervisor Hoffman supported the county opening three new mental health and substance abuse residential treatment facilities, and also system changes to reduce the number of children being placed in out-of-home care. Nearly a decade ago, Supervisor Hoffman and the county board supported the Health and Human Services building addition and remodeling, and provided key support to staff associated with the tubercul tuberculosis outbreak, which to many of us feels like a long time ago, but was a monumental task and achievement at the time. During his tenure on the healthcare centers and law committees, Supervisor Hoffman supported the consolidation of our nursing homes and a number of significant capital improvements to Rocky Knoll. Supervisor Hoffman was also a strong advocate for the Sheriff's Department supporting a number of enhancements to our emergency response systems and establishing a combined dispatch center. In summary, Supervisor Hoffman, the supervisors we have acknowledged this evening, and all of you, all of you have worked as a team to help improve the lives of Sheboygan County residents. Most of you have had a role in supporting many of the accomplishments I just touched on. Not to mention so effectively holding the line on property tax increases. If there is one thing we may all appreciate more than ever, it is the importance of health, safety, and being kind to one another. Please join Chairman Koch, Vice Chairman Ziegelbauer, and me in recognizing Supervisor Brian Hoffman for 20 years of service to the people of Sheboygan County. Consideration of committee reports, executive committee, resolution number 40. Supervisor Gehring. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I move for adoption. Thank you, Supervisor Gehring. Supervisor Browser, Brower. I'll second the motion. Thank you, Supervisor Brower. Under discussion? Seeing no discussion, please vote.
Consideration of Committee Report and Finance Committee, Ordinance Number 7. Supervisor Abler. Make a motion to approve an enactment of the motion. Thank you, Supervisor Abler. Supervisor Wagner. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I'll second that motion. Thank you, Supervisor Wagner. Under discussion. Seeing no discussion, please vote. Consideration of committee report, law committee, ordinance number eight. Supervisor Testrodi. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I'll move to approve. Thank you, Supervisor Testrodi. Supervisor Wagner. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I'll second that motion. Thank you, Supervisor Wagner. Under discussion. Seeing no discussion, please vote. And on to adjournment, Supervisor Testrodi. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, I move to adjourn. Thank you, Supervisor Testrodi. Supervisor Hoffman. I'll second that. Thank you, Supervisor Hoffman. Please vote. <laughs> Sorry, Supervisor OG, we are adjourned. Thank you.